the Joe Rogan experience. L let's talk about that fight because that was a crazy situation, right? First of all, TJ looked like dead man walking, going to the weigh-ins. Like I said, as bad as anybody I've ever seen besides Travis Luter. I mean, Travis Luter was a dehydration thing. TJ had starved himself down to a skeleton. It was real weird. And then when you found out that he has taken EPO, and then he said that he was taking EPO because he just didn't have any energy from cutting that weight. I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know what the answer. My brother and I were talking about that yesterday. I, I'm not sure what it was, but I'm just, uh, I felt sick inside when I found out, Joe. Like it's, it's like a sadness that it brings to you because, dude, it's like, yeah, we may talk stuff, you know, to each other, whatnot, but it's, it doesn't get that personal. Oh, it shouldn't get that personal for somebody to take an EPO, man. Something that, a drug that you just will never get tired of and fight that dude with these four ounce gloves. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a little bit of malice there, man. So I remember that day I called, I, talk, I talked to my brother, I talked to my mom, like, dude, uh, as thick skinned as we grew up and whatnot, like, I, this is hurting me, man. What would you have done if you found out before the fight? If they gave you the option? I felt so, so if they, good. If they, pulled, if they pulled you aside and said, listen, Henry. The fight's going to go on, but we got an issue. It turns out we just got TJ's drug sample back, and he tested positive for EPO. You can still fight him if you want to. We're going to strip him. We're going to, even if he wins, we're going to strip him. We're going to fine him and keep him from fighting for two years. He's going to get convicted yeah. of using this stuff. But you could choose to fight him. Just don't tell anybody. <laughs> just... <laughs> <laughs> Well, here's my deal, man. You can, hey, if you're going to ask can, you a question like that, I got one for you, too. Oh, but, oh, okay. But a guy can, they can say, like a guy misses weight by five pounds, he can still fight you. That's a fucking big advantage. He didn't have to cut those extra five? You know how many yeah. times guys miss weight and still win? Yeah. It's big. Yeah. It's a big number. When guys miss weight and wind up winning the fight, I believe, um, who was talking about that? Some, some, one, of the, one of the commentators, might have been Dominic Cruz. Um, he was talking about guys missing weight and then wind up, winding up winning the fight because they have an advantage. They mm -hmm. didn't cut the weight. They, 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 like you, they, you, we all know there's a certain point in time where you shouldn't lose any more weight. But we also know there's a dark land where most people don't want to travel through, where you can make it through, you could get to that point where you don't want to do it anymore. You're fucking dying inside, but you stay in there an extra 20 minutes and you make the weight. Or some people don't. But the guy who doesn't, look, it's bad for your body to cut that much weight. The guy who leaves those extra five pounds on his body, that's a big advantage. That's big. Yeah, it, it is, but also, it, it is actually, it is. But What's not, bigger, that or EPO? <laughs> EPO, I EPO. imagine, man. Yeah, because, man, TJ was saying how good he felt. He yeah. never felt so good in his life. I'm just like, I'm just hearing it from him. Yeah. But also in that fight, that's when I felt like the most prepared, Joe. Like I felt even till now, my career, I, like I'm retired, like I'm really done. And that's the best that I've ever felt, man, against TJ Dillashaw. So I, I think to answer that question, I think I still would fight him for that reason, man. Because I did everything natural and I used science and... Mm. Uh,